Hi, this is Miss Jess from the Pequannock Library, and today I'm going to be doing a story time about May Day. Now, I just have this book here so I can kind of explain to you a little bit about what May Day is. Okay, so I'm going to be reading a little bit about it. May Day. May Day, falling on the first day of May, is a spring holiday that has been celebrated for thousands of years. The Celts, or the Celts, <laughs> held a May Day festival called Beltane and lit bonfires. They believed the heat from the fires would help the sun become powerful and warm again. It has traditionally been a holiday associated with dancing and processions. In some places, it is the custom to crown a May queen with flowers and dance with ribbons around the maypole. So this is a picture of a maypole. It's like a really, really tall pole and there's streamers and everyone would take a streamer in their hand and kind of dance around it. So the craft that we have, we have two crafts actually. We have a little crown for if you were the May Day Queen or May Day King. So I'll show you how to make that. And then we also have kind of like a little streamer thing that's kind of like the maypole. So before we do all that fun craft stuff, I just wanted to read this one story with you about Mayfest, which is kind of like May Day, like a May Day celebration. On the morn of Mayfest. It's a fun story, I think you'll like it. This is the lass with hair like a nest who walked in her sleep on the morn of Mayfest. There she is. This is the dove who flew over the lass with the hair like a nest who walked in her sleep on the morn of Mayfest. Can you see the dove there? This is the huntsman who fixed on the dove who flew after the lass with hair like a nest who walked in her sleep on the morn of Mayfest. Can you see the huntsman? Can you see it? who frightened the huntsman, who fixed on the dove, who flew after the lass, with hair like a nest, who walked in her sleep on the morn of May Fest. Can you find the mouse up there? This is the cat who chased the mouse, who frightened the huntsman, who fixed on the dove, who flew after the lass with the hair like a nest who walked in her sleep on the morn of May Fest. Can you find the huntsman and the cat and the mouse? There's a whole bunch of stuff going on in that picture, huh? This is the sheepdog in mad pursuit who trapped the cat, who chased the mouse, who frightened the huntsman, who fixed on the dove, who flew after the last with hair like a nest, who walked in her sleep on the morn of May Fest. Can you see all that stuff going on? You can see how the story is going, right? <laughs> like the little house that Jack built. This is the laundress who shouted, you brute, and dumped suds on the sheepdog in mad pursuit, who trapped the cat, who chased the mouse, who frightened the huntsman, who fixed on the dove, who flew after the lass with the hair like a nest, who walked in her sleep on the morn of Mayfest. And there she is dumping that water on that poor puppy dog. <laughs> You brute, she said. These are the jugglers, juggling fruit, who jumped over the laundress, who shouted, you brute, and dumped suds on the sheepdog in mad pursuit, who trapped the cat, who chased the mouse, who frightened the huntsman, who fixed on the dove, who flew after the last with hair like a nest, who walked in her sleep on the morn of May Fest. Can you see the jugglers there? Look at all that stuff. Wow, not really good at that. <laughs> this is the monkey, the monkey in tunic and boots, who played with the jugglers juggling fruit, who jumped over the laundress who shouted, you brute, who dumped studs on the sheepdog in mad pursuit, who trapped the cat, who chased the mouse, who frightened the huntsman, who fixed on the dove, who flew after the lass with hair like a nest, who walked in her sleep on the morn of May Fest. Can you find the monkey there? That's playing with the fruit that the jugglers are juggling. Look at all that. 
These are the children who thought it was cute to dance with the monkey in the monkey in tunic and boots, who played with the jugglers juggling fruit, who jumped over the laundress who shouted, you brute, and dumped suds on the sheepdog in mad pursuit, who trapped the cat, who chased the mouse, who frightened the huntsman, who fixed on the dove, who flew after the lass with hair like a nest, who walked in her sleep on the morn of May Fest. Can you see all the children? And the monkey? All the other crazy things going on in that picture. There's some silly stuff, huh? Some silly stuff going on. This is the minstrel strumming his lute, who sang for the children who thought it was cute to dance with the monkey in tunic and boots, who played with the jugglers juggling fruit, who jumped over the laundress who shouted, you brute, and dumped suds on the sheepdog in mad pursuit, who trapped the cat, who chased the mouse, who frightened the huntsman, who fixed on the dove, who flew after the last with her hair like a nest, who walked in her sleep on the morn of May Fest. And you can see him playing the lute there and all the children listening. What other crazy things can you see in that picture? Silly stuff, right? <laughs> this is a fun story. This is the milkmaid, her love absolute, who kissed the minstrel strumming his lute. There she is. And there's the monkey. Can you find the monkey? <laughs> Lots of stuff going on. Who kissed the children who thought it was cute to kiss the monkey in tunic and boots? Who kissed the jugglers juggling fruit? Who kissed the laundress who shouted, you brute? Who kissed the sheepdog in mad pursuit? Who kissed the cat? Who kissed the mouse? Who kissed the huntsman? Who kissed the dove? Whoever so lovingly kissed her egg, they're all kissing. That's a lot nicer than all the other silly th stuff going on, right? Just one kiss and everyone's kissing and kissing. <laughs> the dove, whoever so lovingly kissed her egg and then out popped the hatchling who kissed the last, who waking up said, I am queen of the May. This nest is my crown. Come dance, frolic, play, make merry and jest. Good welcome to spring on the morn of May Fest. Quite a celebration. So she's the queen of May Fest after all that. She gets to wear the crown. She gets to dance around with all the streamers and the jugglers and the cat and the dog and the mouse and the dove and the huntsman and the laundress and the man playing the lute and the milk lady. The end. And there she is with all her friends. Great story. And that's on the morn of May Fest. So now I'm going to flip the camera around and show you how to make your very own May Day crown and a little streamer. So let's get started. Hi! Look who I found. A little jester for our May Day. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I had to share. Adorable. Okay. So, in your craft bag that you can get from the library while supplies last, we will first be making a May Day crown. So you have these two pieces here, and let's get this down my back. <laughs> Hello. We are going to color them together. If I can figure out this camera. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so you can color them any colors you want. I'm just going to do a little pink. I'm not going to color the whole thing because that would take forever. But I'm just going to do a little bit. A little pink petal there so you can do your flowers any color you want. And then there's tons of little green leaves. So you can make them dark green, light green. You can make them yellow, red, depends if you're going for like a fall look or if you want to stick with your, your spring, summer look. So, got that. And then don't forget to color this part. And then depending on how big your head is, mine is quite large. <laughs> you're going to use either tape or a stapler. And you're going to, I would, I would use a stapler. I think that's the best thing. Unless you want to use tape. Sometimes you get the staples trapped in your hair and you 
that's no fun. Okay, so I'm gonna do two staples, kind of like that. And then you wanna measure the head. Like I said, I have a very large head, so I'm gonna make it the biggest I can, but you can kind of measure it to how big you wanna make it. Probably still not gonna fit on my head. It's okay. <laughs> and then uh, you just put it on your head. Da -da. It's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> and then you got this beautiful little straw kind of thing here with the little hole. Is it the hole in there? There you go. And all your colorful streamers. So you can use all of them, or if you just want to use some of the colors. Uh, I'm gonna use all my colors so I can make it nice and rainbow colored. So you're gonna take them and you're gonna line them up so that they're all, you want all the, the tops of them all together because that'll, that'll make it easier. So I've got all my colors of the rainbow here. And, oh, I almost forgot my yellow. yellow. Okay, now this is a little tricky. So you wanna kinda pile them on top of each other best you can. I'm gonna try and put them through the hole all at the same time. You might have to do it one at a time. I'm kinda like trying to twirl them together at the top here. See, so they're all kind of like twirled together. And then kinda thread them through this little hole here. I did it, hooray. Okay, so then I'm going to tie it. Let's see. Also a little tricky. Okay, got it. Okay, so I put it through the hole and then I'm kind of tying it. And I'm gonna double knot it so that it stays in there. If you can't get it through the hole, you can also tape it. You also still might want to tape it afterwards. You can just tape that part down. But then you've got your streamers and you can have your very own little May Day celebration. All right, I hope you like that craft and I hope you like the story and I will see you guys hopefully at the library.